Hi everyone! I am Maria Nicole Nera from BSE2B and for today's video, we are going to talk about the power of video, film, and TV. We have this set of questions to be answered in this video. The first question is, how do videos help students learn? The second question is, why are the film, video, and TV powerful in the classroom? Lastly, how do you counteract one disadvantage of TV, film, and video or the development of passivity in the classroom? So the first question is, how do videos help students learn? According to a 1995 study conducted by Synergy Broadcast Systems, video in the classroom is an important tool used to support the four key components of learning. The first key component is the active engagement. We just can enhance and deepen their knowledge as you go from one topic to another. It increases engagement and keeps students brain fresh as you proceed through the lesson. The second key component is the participation in groups. It allows students to interact with classrooms throughout the world. The third key component is the frequent interaction and feedback. It can stimulate classroom discussion due to the newly acquired information from the video. Lastly, connection to real-world experts. An example of this is a video presentation or video tutorials from experts or professionals. It may not be a real-time interaction, but they may still learn from them or have a connection with them through a video. Videos create a more engaging sensor experience than using print materials alone. Learners actually get to see and hear the concept they thought, and they can process it in the same way they process their everyday interactions. The second question is, why are the film, video, and TV powerful in the classroom? Films, videos, and TV are powerful educational tools. Film, videos, and television can add another dimension to a project by enabling students to envision and imagine what an event would have looked like. Through the scope of video, television, and film, you can get a comprehensive view that illustrations and books cannot provide. According to Dale 1969, the film, the video, and the TV are indeed very powerful since they transmit a wide range of audiovisual materials, including still pictures, films, objects, specimen, and the drama. They bring the world of reality to the home and the classroom through a live broadcast or as mediated through film or video tape. They can make some programs understandable and appealing to a wide variety of age and educational levels. Therefore, they can bring models of excellence to the viewer and be an instructive and enjoyable medium at the same time. So the last question is, how do you counteract one disadvantage of TV, film, and video or the development of passivity in the classroom? One of the disadvantages of using these mediums in the classroom is that once you present a new set of characters, situations, environments, or in general, new information to the students, they tend to rely on those interpretations rather than their own imagination and longer. The image on the screen becomes their ideal of the correct image. As a future educator, I will only use these kinds of medium as a support in delivering the lesson to my future students. I will require them to reflect on what they have learned after watching a video, film, and the television to avoid them from relying on what they have watched. These kinds of medium for learning and teaching are indeed powerful in the classroom. However, we must always remember that they have their own limitations as well. So, let's use them properly and moderately. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you've learned something and see you on my next vlog. Bye!